Hey, this is the Fight Nerd, and I'm wearing a Ring to Cage Cobra Curved Focus Mitt today here at Progressive Martial Arts in Queens, New York. Sifu Nick, how are you today? Great, how you doing? All right, now we're going to test out these guys as we mentioned on camera. So first uh, impressions upon seeing them. Uh, they're definitely uh, it's a different design from what you brought us last time. It's, uh, it's a lot more contour to the hand. They're definitely a tight fit. See how it holds up. Have you guys used the other one from last time? Because last time, basically, the biggest complaint was that it was too big. Have you guys continued to use that and break it in some more? Yeah, we absolutely we did. You know, I kind of use it when I demonstrate, so, you know, kind of use it almost every day. So it still came in handy. Now, these guys, as we mentioned, and as you can see, are a lot smaller than the previous ones we reviewed. So before we can start beating them up, here's a few words to the manufacturer about what's in them. The Ring to Cage Cobra Curved Punch Mitts are made from all leather and feature a full two inches of padding to absorb shock as well as a full-sized mitt. Multiple layers of padding with gel tech absorb shock from strikes with a curved design with a grip ball for anatomically correct hand position and faster feeding. This new style comes with a Velcro strap over the wrist area for a perfect fit and ventilated mesh finger covers for safety. So with our fighters from Progressive Martial Arts suited up, it's time to put this product to the test. Uh, these were actually pretty good. I was uh, very surprised. The, um, again, they, they focus on the top part with padding, which, again, I don't really understand. Uh, the part where you actually hit is pretty good. Uh, I, li I like that there's not a lot of padding over here, so it allows the, the puncher to really dig in their shots and not have too much recoil. Actually, I really like the focus mitts a lot. Um, one, they sounded awesome, because every time I would hit it, it sounded so much louder than any other pad I've ever hit before. So it's like, wow, I'm kind of badass, huh? Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, first of all, I like the design. I also like that these are too independent once you put your arm in. This piece uh, protects your arm, and then you have an extra pad for a person that you're hitting, not only the person who's hitting, but you can also feed them back. Uh, not having to worry about um, roughing up their eye with the stitches around the corner, which is very good. And also it has uh, pretty comfortable amounts. Once you put your hand in, it, uh, it has a little uh, palm protection that goes, uh, that goes through uh, a little more comfortable also around your wrist. And the Velcro is not independent. It doesn't move around. It has a loop that you can actually put it into, so it's not moving around while you're feeding. Uh, since they are very fitted and it has that extra strap, you can really move them around and not worry about uh, slippage, okay? So you don't have to keep readjusting them or worrying about them flying off for certain shots. At no point during the round did I ever feel I had to fix them. So from start to finish, they, they stayed exactly as we started. And as for, you know, just hitting it, it seemed like they were really sturdy on Eric's hand while I was punching it. So, yeah, I, I definitely like these a lot. Feeding wise uh, the only concern I had was that the top part was moving, in, uh, moving independently. So if uh, it goes up a little bit, if somebody is hitting a little bit higher on the on the pad, then there are chances that uh, your tip of the finger has and it, it rocks backwards. But that, about that, apart from that, there's no concern. It pretty much uh, you know, it has extra protection for your fingers that it's not loose out in the end. Uh, apart from that, there's there's nothing. It's pretty, it's pretty comfortable and pretty smooth. Again, the, this part on the top, the only thing I would feel that maybe it's valid for is if, if you're feeding back, as far as like hitting back to your partner to kind of protect their face a little bit. So that's where I would feel this is probably becomes a, a little bit more valid. But uh, again, as far as for focus mitts, my, my, my goal is always as far as how they feel when you hit them. Uh, as far as for me, uh, training defense, that would come down to sparring. So the main, the main focus would be as far as uh, the hitting aspect. And for me, they, they definitely felt really good hitting. $55, I would say, it's, it's, it's worth paying, um, you know, overall, the comfortable, the design, um, plus the focus pads. I mean, focus mates, are, they, they last pretty long time. So according to this one, they, they'll, they'll, I'm pretty sure they're durable. Uh, apart from the stretching that I can tell, it's double stitched throughout, so it's going to be a little bit hard. But yeah, 55 bucks, I would definitely pay for it. I would say, yeah, it's borderline, but they're, they're pretty good, because uh, the, the better brands are, are definitely more expensive. So like a pair of focus mitts from, let's say like King, uh, would probably be like 65 or more, depending on, on where you get it from. I think I totally would. Um, the first pair of focus mitts I ever bought were not worth like $10 cheaper than that. And I think these are a lot nicer quality. They seem to fit a lot better. You know, they have a lot more protection on them. So yeah, I would totally buy these for $55. At the end of the day, these were one of the best reviewed products we have ever had from Ring to Cage. The feeders felt comfortable and protected wearing it and the strikers got the workout they needed and enjoyed punching the mitts. The price point was also great for this kind of lightweight mitt and came highly recommended from all of our test subjects. This is a must-buy for training if you're interested in working on your hand speed and definitely 
Head over to ringthecage.com to learn more about these mitts or to buy one for yourself today. If you want to learn more about progressive martial arts in Queens, New York, head to progressivemartialarts.com. I am the Fight Nerd. Thanks for watching. It hit it. It sounded so much louder than any other pad I've ever hit before. So it's like, wow, I'm kind of badass, huh? Uh, so that was really cool. Um, <laughs> sorry, my head instructor's laughing at me because I'm not at all badass. Uh, but that was... Hi, Sifu Nick. Thank you. Um, so that was really cool, actually.